what's going on guys so I'm trying to remove this uh, fuse box uh, we are diagnosing uh, some issues inside of the car with these three fuses not actually working so no power to fuse uh, this one not one not one this is as a result of this fuse right here which is the alternator fuse it blew because it was jumped the wrong way so I already took this box out before and we replaced that, that alternator fuse and the car is running but the radio the dome lights and uh, basically are not responsive when you come here and check for power or ground I mean or power on this uh, legs right here with the circuit there is absolutely nothing here so I'm going back inside to make sure I did not forget to uh, connect something while I was in there uh, just to kind of eliminate all possibility in the meantime I'm going to show you guys how to remove it if you come across this issue where you blew your fuse your alternator fuse uh, you know maybe you can learn a few things I've looked on video on YouTube but I don't find nothing for uh, that's very like you know step by step so hopefully I can do the best that I can and show you what to do so basically we just took the cover out right just put the cover back so there goes the cover you got a tab there depress the tab push it towards in the, the cover just lift off very easily I also remove the battery right there completely remove it just again some have you don't have to do that you can do it without removing the battery what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna remove the air box just to gain access to the bolt to secure this uh, computer okay so to remove the air box you got a couple clips on the side there one there and another one on the side there kind of further down that's it you got the mass airflow sensor connector All right. plug push it remove it uh, it's right there in, out of that channel and it's held on by a little Christmas tree slice uh, I mean uh, you know what it is so anyway put that to the side we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter um, upper part of it put it to the side there so we got the lower part which is going to be another 10 millimeter there's two of them there it's supposed to be three and we lost one but so let me just uh, get my extension and pause it one and two can wiggle this thing out of here. Oh, it all the way out. Make sure it's all the way out. All right. So it's still connected to the back here. Uh, you see that right there. But to release it from behind, it is a tab. You're gonna push the tab down. I need two hands because you gotta push this, push the tab down, and you gotta uh, yank on the uh, the air box. So two step process here, right there. That's it. So we're talking about this right here. Okay. So set that to the side. Now we got a lot more space as you see. A lot more room. So we're gonna go and try to uh, uh, remove the computer. Okay. So first thing first, we're gonna press on this, then push it back, and then yank on the connector. Done. Same thing here. Press. Come on here, you press, and you push, push back, remove it, done. So we got those two out of the way. If we want to, there's another type of connector there. Uh, we can do the same thing there, but this is from behind. But it's a little bit easy, uh, hard to, to, to do, so I'm not gonna attempt it. I'm gonna remove now a 10 millimeter there. Okay, there's another 10 millimeter further down there, right there, and there's a 10 millimeter right there. In the corner where my finger is, if you can find it, can you find it? Right there. So, those are the three 10 millimeter security computer. Let's try to do that. For this one, I can use the extension because it's part of the
shot, okay? I'm just gonna grab it. Leave it out with the whole wine harness. Let's go to the side here. See the chaos we have now? Now we got a lot more room to work and see what we're doing, okay? The uh, uh, the fuse box is held on. You're gonna have two 10 millimeter nuts. Uh, the 10 millimeter nuts gonna go right here. These two, these two terminals. You have to remove the 10 millimeter nuts right there on top. Okay? So you're gonna need that. After that, you got um, some tabs on the side. Let me see if I can show it. Okay. One tab. Let me get the light straight, guys. Alright, so one of the tabs right there. Just pull it back like that. Right? Just pull it back. The other tab is going to be on this side. Sorry about the lighting, man. I'm in the, not the most lit, well lit area. The other one is right there. Same thing. Push back. And you push back. And then you can yank on this thing. You can pull and it'll come up like this. Come up a little bit here. Come up a little bit there. Basically, you got to have it on both sides at the same time or as much as you can. Basically, this side. And now this whole thing. Let me get the light out of my way. Now this whole thing can come off. We still have to disconnect those things because they connected to it. So I just get my pick, hook behind the tab there, and just prop it up like that. Hook, boom. Same thing here, hook. This one is a little bit stubborn. A little step. Okay, I'm going to use two hands. That's it. So all of them are out. So let's join the wine harness. We can just pack it under here. Uh, so this uh, computer leg, I mean this wine harness, is held on by some type of fastener there. Pull back, bam, we're done. So now we can lay that on that side. Already you can see the type of clearance we're working with now. Um, now um, we have another uh, Christmas fastener right here on this wire here. We can do the same thing. I'm just going to get a, a flat head screwdriver, pop it, and it's done. So, just going to allow this wire to be loose all the way. It's just loose now. Okay. Now we're going to come here. This this cover right here has to be popped. There's a cover right there. This cover has to be popped. So, there's tabs on the side of it. I don't know. I'm going to try to show it. On the side right here, there's some tabs. You gotta push tab away from this cap. And as you're pulling, there you go. Away and you pull. Right and pry out. There you go. So those tabs are gone. So with the tab out, that's what you see. Uh, initially, these were tied. These had a zip tie uh, connected to them, and they were tied around here somewhere. I had to cut the zip ties. Just remember that. So yours gonna probably have. It's never been touched before. You have zip ties around it. So without the zip ties being cut, there's no way you're gonna be able to yank this thing. You're gonna be able to pull up on it. So now we're gonna get the three bolts. One of them is right there. Out, we're gonna worry about 
uh, separating the two halves of the uh, of this box right here. Um, I'll put, set my light somewhere out of my way where you can still see. Hopefully you're able to see. Uh, I'm going to position this light as best as I can. So now that we have lift off, we should be able to remove this thing. You have to still have to kind of wiggle it. Okay, it's in a, some type of bag. Let me just double check one outside there. Yes, okay. If I can show that. You can see that side. I can see there's a little bit of tab there. Let me just show it to you with the uh, screwdriver. That right there is a tab. You gotta push it down and pull up on it. There you go. Okay. Now, mind you guys, this type of jobs is not very difficult to break something. I mean, it's all plastic. It doesn't take a lot. Uh, but as long as it doesn't change the integrity of the wiring and everything else, you shouldn't be concerned about it, honestly. If you got to do what you got to do, do it. Uh, you know? Of course, use caution. But like I said, don't be too mad about, you know, scuffing things. and Because it's going to happen. That's just how it is. I've never taken out any of these type of boxes without scarring something that's just how it is yeah you can only be a virgin virgin once <laughs> as you can see so now the next step is to go around the parameter and we're going to remove these things to do that we're going to try and explain as best what's the process because it's going to be difficult to film you need definitely two hands all right so um uh, let me see are you in a shot there you go so basically this is the tab we're going to have to pull back like that and this part of it right here you're gonna have to push down so pull back this one push down on it on this one same thing pull back and push down so you got to do that all the way around and that's what it is what I used to do uh, let me get a I got my screwdriver so when I pull back I put the screwdriver actually here in this channel and I twist it like that just a little bit give me something okay and I come here do the same thing and this is what I mean by uh, scratching this thing a little bit. Sometimes it's just, it's just the way it is. Same thing we're going to do on this side. Very difficult not to do that. It's almost like these boxes are never meant to be open. Um, that's just the way it is. I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to run it because I want you to see the struggle. Um, so when you're doing it yourself, you could when you encounter the struggle you don't get discouraged this is just how it this is how it comes off <laughs> you know so, even though i already opened it uh, before but it's still a struggle there you go. sometimes the biggest challenge is the light <laughs> you know we have to position the light as you're working to make things work properly. So, right there. I got to put some in the back there. Yeah, you're going to definitely scar this box. It's just, like I said, almost unavoidable. As you see already, it's separating. Same thing here. Step back. There you go. There you go. All right. So now that you are here, um, if you had to replace the uh, these fuses right here, it uh, 120 Emperor. Uh, what you would do at this point, you would need to push this whole section downward in order to gain access because it's secured by two bolts on either side. So I am not doing that right now. Uh, what I'm doing is different now. We're just trying to figure out why we don't have power there. But like I said, if you were to do that job, let me see if I can show you from here. 
might be kind of hard to see honestly but you will just have to trust me on this you will be able to figure it out like i said it's not the biggest deal once you get to this point trust me the rest is not that big of a deal let me see if i can show it to you without giving you a headache right now when i put my hand right here you see that all the way down you see a tab in the pocket i don't want the light to be in your way but there's a tab. If you follow it all the way down, you're going to see a tab. You're going to have to pry up on that tab and push down. Okay? Um, that's one tab there. The other one is right here. See this white wire right here, this cable? Right above this cable in that little slot there, there's another tab there. And that's what you got to do. Just go around the parameter and you're going to see there's a lot of wires you got to deal with. If you want to, you can uh, remove uh, these wires because these you can remove them, you know if you, if you need to remove remove some of these I'm talking about the connectors So the connectors they all, can only fit one way. So don't 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 be scared of that But that's that's it. Basically. This is the bulk of the job once you get here uh, I'm pretty sure you can figure out the rest of the job and how to figure uh, and how to get uh, You know to where you need to go uh, So imagine you have to now, you know uh, mess with this wire harness and having to uh, say something catch on fire and you have to fix that yeah, that's gonna be a nightmare you know you can't be here for a few hours trying to uh, do that but anyway this is all I wanted to show you guys I hope uh, you know it helps like I said the rest of these things you just go around the parameter you will see the little tabs just be careful usually use your lights you'll be able to see all of them pry upon it and start pushing or pulling it's one of those either you push it out or you pull it in it's one of those you know I'm not, I don't remember because they have different sections and the older section can be pried out um, this section right here by the way I have to say that these fuses are this relay one relay two three they have to be taken out for this section to come out they're gonna be in the way one two three remember those okay the purple one and the two light blue one they're next to each other they will have to be removed if you got gonna change this 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 fuse that's sometimes you're thinking like you have everything uh, you know I pried all the way it looks like it's coming down but what's what's, what's holding it it's gonna be these three these three relays so make sure these three relays are out of your way all right guys hopefully it helps a lot for you you know let me know how it went I'm gonna stop you here I'm gonna try to figure out my problem and if I do I'll all right make a I just wanted to come back here and show you which section actually you talk you need to remove like I said it's hard to, for me to show it on camera right now because of the light but I already you got to push it in and you got to remove the tabs just you know put like this is what I'm using sharp object put it in you know pry it up push pry push pry push and then now and those three relays I told you about remove them and now you can just kind of push it down all the way Now you have this half completely out of side of the situation there. So if you want to replace your fuse, that 20, 120F, one there, you got right there, 8 millimeter on the side, 8 millimeter on the opposite side. I hope you can see the camera is backwards, but it's okay. You get what I'm saying? And uh, replace it, and you're on your way. No big deal. Hopefully, uh, it helps.